What's going on, y'all? It's Max and My Kind of Beats, and we are in Car Car City today. Again with my brother Ruben here. Ruben, this is your hometown, right, brother? Yes, yeah, the hometown of my mother. We're gonna go through. Apparently, this is home to some of the best lechon in all of the Philippines. We're gonna go hit a bunch of Car Car delicacies and finish with that lechon. Can't wait to bring y'all with us. Let's get it started. Got people lined up here for a lot of intestines, got liver, just all types of opal right here. Oh, we're in the Lechon area. It's busy, it's packed, it's crowded, it's fast paced. And this is more pigs than I've ever seen in one spot before. So that's what the car car market's actually famous for, is the Lechon little area. All right, we're gonna start off at a clarinderia, which is just like a little house kitchen. People cook up a ton of meals. You come in, just kind of pick what you want. Oh wow, I'm loving this market. It is high paced, it's busy, it's crowded, it is lunchtime, people are hungry, and it is fun. You can just hear the dishes and the silverware just clanking and crashing, people yelling out orders. Ooh, this is the atmosphere you love right here. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start with some dugo dugo. Just spread it over a little bit of rice and try it out. Mm. Oh, it is just rich. I mean, that pork blood they use is really thickened it up. It's almost kind of like curry, like it's so thick, but they're using the pork blood. Great pork flavor from it. Really salty. Got a big kick of saltiness. And what I love about the Philippines, you can tell they're adding acid to that because it's got that little bit of freshness to it. That little bit of making your mouth water. Now the one I'm most excited about is the humba here. that fish I mean it's got like a maple brown sugar sweetness to it but then the pork belly they use in Asia the fat piece is thicker so that cooks down it's just creamy melts in your mouth the meat is tender wow and then all that sauce just soaks into this rice oh. now I'm gonna get some of the bagoon the shrimp bagoon paste it on some rice check it out this is my first bagoon experience so I'm super excited I've heard so much about it and this is true Filipino flavor right here Oh yeah, mm. it's salty, intense shrimp flavor. Oh yeah, that is the condiment you want right there. I just want to spread this all over my rice and just eat that. Wow. Okay, last thing I got is a little soup, but I already know I'm gonna put just a little bagoon on it, just give it a little extra kick. Mm. Mm. It has a nice subtle fish soup, nice greenery coming from it, nice subtle earthiness flavor. Mm. That's just subtle, light, very nice fish soup. Mm. Things I want to keep going back for the Dugo Dugo, the Humba, and the Bagoon. Those are the winners for me here. Check this out guys, this is a sea urchin sauce. Literally taking the meat from sea urchin and making a sauce. Look how big this bottle is, 60 pesos. You can get sea urchin meat sauce. What? Oh yeah, could not pass up that sauce and not buy one, so I got a bottle. I'm gonna find something to pour that on. May just buy some rice and pour it on some rice. Ooh. Let's put some line. I'll be pulling the little 
All right, we walked just outside the market to Ruben's aunt's house because she makes chicharron and they're making some fresh right now. All right, so here's what happens. They get the pork skin. He's going to take it apart, cut it up, throw in a big vat of just boiling pork skin going on, and it's going to expand. Then they're going to throw it in the hot oil, fry it up, bring it out, let it dry out for a little bit, spice it up, and refry. it. All in all, it's going to cook four times until you get to the finished product. <laughs> All right, just found a nice spot to sit down here. We got three kinds. We got a spicy with meat, we got a original with meat, and then we got the original with no meat at all, just the skin. All right, gonna start off with just a pure skin, no meat one. Ooh. That's just pure, crunchy skin. I mean, that's just potato chip crispiness, but on an even higher level. Not really salty at all. They're not really spicing these original ones very much, but letting that pure pork flavor come through, just letting the freshness and the quality come through in this chicharron. Mm. Now I can't wait any longer. Gotta go for meat filled, spicy. Mm. Oh yeah, that is spicy. You got a nice kick of heat into it, but it's not too much, just enough to wake you up. And I'll tell you what, what's crazy about the ones with the meat is, instead of just being like a potato chip and dissolving in your mouth, the little meat part just melts in your mouth and becomes creamy. Ooh, I'm going in for another one of those real quick. Mm. It's just so fresh, it's so crunchy, it's so meaty, it's creamy, intense pork flavor. Like I said, the original, um, they're just letting the meat, the pork flavoring come through, and then you get the crunchiness, greasiness melt in your mouth. But you know me, I'm always gonna take that kick of heat. Mm. Oh, big shout out to Auntie Flora for letting me back here seeing the process and trying some of that freshly made chicharron. All right, we're gonna continue the snack, gonna get some apple mango, and they actually dip it in a bagoon, but instead of being the shrimp bagoon from earlier, this is a fish-made bagoon. The contrast and flavors, they're extreme opposites. That bagoon is very salty, very pungent, and then you get this. It's slightly sweet, tart, crunchy, but then again, that bagoon, you know, it's kind of been formed down, so it's got a little bit of creaminess to it. I mean, these are just polar opposites, but when they come together, they're everything you want. Oh, wow. The apple mango tastes a lot like a Granny Smith apple, but it's got the texture of an unripened mango, and it's really, really tart and sour. And then you get some salty, the spices from the bagoon. This has just got everything. Got to keep going back in and dunking. All right, we are headed for some lechon in just a second. But first, I want to try one more little thing, kind of help get the appetite going. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get a little drink of some coconut liquor before we head for that lunch on. Like I said, gonna help get that appetite going. All right, I misspoke a little bit. Probably should call this more of like a coconut wine. They got two kinds here. We got kind of like a classic in the plastic, and then you got the premium version in the glass. We're gonna start with the plastic one and see how it is. Oh, wow. Like I said, it's nice, it's smooth. It's got a slight little burn to the end of it. This is a lot like a wine. You're getting a lot of flavor at the beginning, then the burn at the end. It's got coconut flavors. I mean, it's a little bit fermentation. Kind of gets you just a little bit of sour to it, but it's deeper, it's darker than that. It's got some carbonation to it. Wow, this, was, this had so much more depth and layers to it than I thought it would. Ooh. Now we got the premium Bajalina, and you can see, look how much darker and deeper in color it is. Oh, a little coconut wine, here we go. Whoa, the premium, it's so much more sour. You can really taste like that fermentation. I mean, it's almost like a sour alcohol more than anything coconut 
I would I would not know this is coconut by trying it. It's so sour and got a nice little burn and kick alcohol to the end of it. That was crazy how those two were so different. And we are back. We are in Lechon City. People are trying to grab your attention, giving you samples. They want you to have their Lechon. But they can't persuade me. I'm here with Ruben today. They're going to have to persuade this man. And then whatever Lechon he picks, we're going to feast on. <laughs> Feast today, towel off just a little bit, even though it's not gonna help. Oh, I'm sweating hard, but just enjoying every moment of this. And you wouldn't be in the Philippines without a nice little Mountain Dew to drink. Now this, you can eat alone, but some people pair it with vinegar to eat as well. I'm gonna try with the mussels, the lechon. I'm gonna put it in everything. just tastes like you're eating the sea. Super briny, super flavor, the mommy pack, creamy, little kick of sourness from that vinegar, the rice for the texture, the fruitiness from the tomatoes, and the little mussel, little sauce. That sea urchin sauce is unreal. Harvest this morning, made the bottle this morning. Oh, but let's quit putting it off. Let's get some of this Lechon de Concar. Look at this tendon, look at this collagen just breaking apart like it's nothing. First gonna go in for a nice meaty piece. Oh my god. The meat flavor is still seasoned so well. That's the tastiest piece of the pure lechon I've had. I mean, you could have fooled my brain to thinking that had some spring onion in it. It had the garlic, it had the spices. It's salty, it's juicy, luscious pork meat. Lechon de car car is on another level. And look at this, the skin, it's still got a huge thick layer of the fat as well. Oh my God. Imagine the crispiest bacon you've ever had, but flavor packed with a nice thick layer of melt in your mouth, creamy, fat, spice packed, and that's what the lechon de carcar skin on the lechon tastes like. I'm just, I'm speechless, that's unbelievable. You know, the other day I had talise lechon, and I almost didn't think it could get any better, but lechon de carcar, proving me wrong, y'all. I hate to say this, but that's some of the best roast pork I've ever had. All right, we have stepped out of the market, and we're in Car Car Circle. Y'all, I am stuffed full of pork products right now, but I do want to try a few Car Car sweet specialties before we finish this video. All right, first up, we got the Hong Pao. It's like it's been called like the Car Car's version of a Rice Krispie. Oh, there's nothing soggy about that. That's a crispy rice crispy. Wow, that's a mouthful to say. But I mean, that is just super crispy. Nice sugar. You can taste the granules and the kick of sugar in this. The rice crispies are light and super crunchy. Hmm. Where are you getting up? All right, I've tried four times, I give up. What's this one called? Masarial. Ah, masarial. No, that's definitely wrong. Anyways, this is a little dessert again. It was developed here in Car Car, and this is made out of peanuts. Let's try it out. Mm. Oh, it's got fudge-like properties. It's a little dry at the beginning, but as you continue to chew, it starts to turn that creamy, sugary slurry that just reminds me of fudge. All right, y'all, that's it for the day in Car Car. From the market, to the chicharron, to the lechon, to the Car Car Sweets. Ruben, my brother. Yes. Wow. Thank you so much, brother. Yeah. I tell y'all, this has been one of my favorite days out of all the days I've been doing this. It's just something special. It's been Max with my kind of beats. I'll catch you at the next video.